knows how to play a super tanky, super low mobility character. But Bison's not a low mobility character. No. It's just <laughs> his walk speed. But when some people see a disadvantage in his walk speed, you know, Bison sees Honda walking. Right. So it's just like, and what I told him in the footsies, plant yourself and let them change the spatial relationship. Let them get baited for the anti-airs. And if they're staying on the ground all day, then you can work with it. Work with it. One of Bison's, you know, if we if we can suss out the disadvantages, you know, not an invincible wake up, so he can get rushed down sometimes. But in the mid range, he is a fantastic character. Yes, that's the most and, and you talk about the tanky damage. He hits like a truck. He does hit, uh, hit like a truck. I mean, yeah. he's working on 50% health right now, and but he, one no hit. combos. But yeah, it's no <laughs> combos. Like, no. <laughs> like look at Chun Li's life without combos. Oh my god. All right, and into the corner, very nice, and he's got the life lead now. There it is, cornered. They can it, start the do bison things in the corner, do bison stuff. I like that we've brought back the cotton candy, the, <laughs> the giant fierce. People, I've been hearing people throw that around. I was like, oh, I haven't heard that in a while. It kind of looks like paint the fence. But it does it, look like paint the fence. I wanted to say that, it, man. It's, it's similar to that. I wish he could just cancel it into itself. There you go. And this is a big. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's it. That was wonderful. And, right look, and, it, it, and for most of the match, Chun Li was taking control, but a few like little knickknacks there, and just it, like that, Bison took the round. It wasn't like there was a ton of openings for Bison. Ooh, great combo right there, and a great bait. Oh, oh no, no, no you know, punish. I he was going for the stand fierce into scissor kick. Yeah, I was gonna say like it was either that or just a brain fart going, "Can I forward fierce?" But don't. <laughs> Pretty sure the stand fierce is the best punish yeah. there. Again, looking very similar to last round. Chun-Li taking control of the match. Yeah, but and, oh, but the stun is here. I was going to say almost, but I, it is here. It might not be. He has full He has full V-Trigger, and he has full bar. One hit, oh. one mix-up. And it could be coming up really soon. One read. One good read, and Bison can hit confirm two or three bars and a huge damage. No, Graham's just going to stick out yeah. those those quick, quick light normals right there. And Huda Man was preparing for the next yeah. round, I feel. If he had gotten a knockdown, he would have done some stuff. But we weren't going to see any meter spent in the mid range. But yeah, the amazing thing about Bison, one combo opportunity with V-Trigger. And you can burn as much meter as you want to continually stack the damage. Yeah, I, to be honest, I, I also play Bison. I would rather burn the, uh, the EX bar rather than using the Super itself because the yes. damage is a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more when you have the V-Trigger and you just cancel the X's into each other. I, so. I feel like one of the better uses of Super is when you have a really sizable life lead and you're mm -hmm. just using it to anti-air. Yeah. Because it's going to hit him really hard for an anti-air. It's not going to hit him that hard in other situations. It's 360. It's like 360 total? Yeah, 360. Yeah, that's, that's great for an anti-air. And he could do it in the air. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, wow. Wow, just like that. And while we're talking about Bison, Hootaman's doing it. I mean, that was just really solid. just just kind of talking about his um how you could do his super in the air. I wanted to ask you because yeah, um, you could kind of you could think of it as uh, ultra geese ultra two. Yeah, it's very similar to that because no one's blocking in the air, so it doesn't matter if it's a hit or a grab, really. Yeah, so if you, you know if you kind of condition them to you know anti air you, you could just do like a little shallow jump in and just super. And you know, yeah, and with the off. read, yeah. It's really versatile being able to do it pretty much at any space because it's whenever you see him in the air. Oh, oh and here's the crush no, counter oh. damage, so good. And if if that was a V trigger combo, that would have been super devastating. Even his B and Bs do good damage, but it's the V trigger it's combos that are out of this world. And look at this, Huda man. And he, and he could play. <laughs> Apparently, this man's having a character crisis, but he's playing like a super solid Bison right now. Yeah, he has a big light lead. All he can do is just play what he's, what he's, what always, he's always been, been playing. Which well, is, he plays Honda. Yes. He plays Honda when he yes. gets the light lead. Just sit back. Fierces, let them come to you. Yeah. Low Fierces, oh, yes. anti-air. <laughs> but even better, Bison can get out of situations. Yeah. Oh, and wow. it's just, oh no, uh, Scissor Kicks was the one to do there. This second game has just been so rough for Graham. Like, Kuda Man has pushed him in the corner at both rounds, and he's taken... <laughs> Just such a beating. This started with Graham in control and Hootaman making comebacks. Yeah. Now it is Bison City. Oh, right it right wasn't air to air, yeah, but it, it was V-Trigger, so it <laughs> I didn't understand what happened there. 
wants to V reversal to get himself out of the corner. Very planted, very patient from Buddha Man, and it's really Graham's Graham has his work cut out for him right now. Yeah. Because we know that Huda Man knows how to play patient. And he, I like the adjustments from Graham, but Huda Man's in now. He's oh okay, he read the bird kick. Oh no, this is just looking worse and worse for Graham Wolf. One of the favorites for these tournaments, and Huda Man is really putting on a workshop right now. I mean, this is just familiar to territory yes. for Huda Man right now. Familiar character archetype, but with fun stuff on top. Yeah. That's a very that sounds very dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Man. I mean Graham Wolf, he has 30 seconds to work with. He does have a full bar bar of super, but he does not have V trigger. It's, so it's, he has to work his way in very slowly. But still the any of these normals. Oh! <laughs> that could have been it right there. Can you do legs or uh, low forward legs then super? I I oh. think it, I think you gotta do it very early. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. the, the Oh, is oh that, did you catch is him at air? It? Oh, oh no, no that's just the end out of it, range. Man, that was so wow. solid from Huda Man right there. He just felt comfortable. Oh, Huda Man. What we didn't really get to see was Chun Li's pressure game. No, because we either stayed in neutral or Huda Man was in. We didn't see that. Chun Li's got a knockdown. Let's see what Chun Li can do. Stuff. It's just there was an escape. We'd go back to neutral. Hood Man would do well, and then the knockdowns turned into big damage.